Ray Lynn, you want to get all clean? You want to get a shower, get all clean? Yeah. So once again, we're going to give Raylan a shower, uh, but while we get her ready and stuff, uh, we've mentioned this before, but we're actually in the process of maybe getting her a lift, uh, a ceiling lift for her room. Um, you've seen us do these uh, transfers where it takes two of us to lift whatever blanket she's on. With a ceiling lift, it'll only take one of us to do that. So the process is going to be kind of the same. She'll be on some kind of net or something like that, and then the ceiling lift can just like dig her up move her over, set her down. That net thing is probably the same kind of net that we'll have for a ceiling lift once we get one of those. It is the net, it's the exact net. Yeah, so that's the net. <laughs> that's the net we'll probably use. Um, and that's, this This one is a like a wet one, basically, a dry wet one, what do they call it? Mesh. A mesh one. It dries really quick. Like, I'm surprised. It gets the bed wet, but not really wet. So if you put like a Chuck's pads down first or like a towel or blanket, Put this on it. It's not going to soak things, whereas like yeah. a regular one would. Yeah. You couldn't do that with a regular one. So, uh, we've talked about getting a Hoyer lift, but we'd much rather get a ceiling lift, which would just be mounted right here Isn't on that her still ceiling. A Hoyer? Well, maybe it is. Maybe the Hoyer makes it, but they usually when they mention the. Hoyer's not a brand. It's the kind of lift. Oh, no, Hoyer is a brand. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> you're, maybe you're right. You're, maybe you're right. So anyway, we're thinking about getting a ceiling lift so that, and it'll just be mounted right here. I don't know what that is. What is this on her fan? That's probably, you know what? It's This is gross, but it's when she goes. Oh, Pew. when she sneezes it. She can, she can spit mucus really far sometimes. Wow. Raylan. She doesn't sniff it up, you know, like we do and blow it out. So <laughs> We think she sneezes and it hits the fan. That's what that is. Anyway. At least it's not, you know what, hits you know, the they, fan. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> like, <laughs> that would be a different a different substance, bodily substance, when the stuff no, hits the I'm fan. I'm pretty sure that's <laughs> That would be nasty. That's some boogies, huh, Raylan? So when the boogies hit the fan. All right, but anyway, the way he explained it to me is that he would they would mount the ceiling thing right here and then... These fan blades would just kind of have to be moved out of the way as needed. And uh, that way she can be transferred from the bed to the chair, the, ba the bath chair. We've heard various things on if this is going to be easy to get approved or next to impossible. So Well, they came out and measured. And the guy who measured... You know how many phone calls and emails that took? He measured from the wall to the bed... That's basically what he measured. And I said, and I wanted to make sure also that he knew that this bed, we might move it further this way and there's going to be even less room here. Um, <laughs> really what they want to do is they want to, they want to provide the thing that costs the least. So if a, hoi, if one, if a floor mount uh, costs the least, which I think they usually cost less yes, yes. Um, and it would fit in our space, then that's what they would give us. So I've tried to emphasize that we, we don't have a, a lot of space for that to move around the whole house. Which no one does, really. But. Uh, so hopefully, hopefully he measured it in such a way that we can get get a, get a proof for a ceiling lift. Did he, tell you he said he thought that we'd be able to qualify for a ceiling lift, but he said he's not also the one. He's not the one who makes the choice. Gotcha. He also said that more people are getting qualified for ceiling lifts uh, lately. I don't know if it's because uh, insurance is being more generous, or it's because they realize that ceiling lifts really do make the most sense for most people COVID, i think made them more quick to medicaid more quick to approve things i don't know exactly why but i remember hearing something about covid making medicaid more quick to approve things but i read a study on lifts in nursing homes and there was way less nurse injuries when they had ceiling lifts in the room because nurses it takes so much more work to use the non-sealing lift ones that people don't use them when they get hurt. It takes so much time to line it up and to get it around and maneuver it where you want it to go yeah. that you don't use it. Right. So we're hoping to get a ceiling lift. This looks like a good t-shirt to go to bed in. A panda t-shirt. You like it? Yeah? <laughs> she made a noise. And you should sleep in this panda shirt tonight. After bath time, we'll put it on, okay? One, two, three. You good? It's okay. Honey's got a heater on, a towel warmer, warm water. Oh, she just threw her blanket off. <laughs> you are not happy, Raylan. She doesn't feel good. Uh-uh. I'm sorry. Let me try to make you feel better. Yeah. 
Let me try to make you feel better, okay? Yeah, we'll get it. We'll get you feeling better. Poor sweet girl, get a good shower. Get a good shower. Do you feel any better, Raven? Not so much. You want to get out of the shower. You don't like the shower today. No. She doesn't You're like it today. Okay, all done. Poor sweet girl. All done. It's not rolling as good as it used to. I don't know why. Probably hard water stains. Maybe. Ready? No. Not ready at all. So that was the weirdest thing. As fast as Raylan started getting upset for taking a shower, she calmed down pretty quick afterwards too. I think for whatever reason, she just got it in her head that she just really didn't want to shower. I don't know if she was afraid that the water would be too hot or um, that she would have some pain because of her legs or hips. But after laying down for just a few minutes, she calmed down and now she's doing just fine. So in fact, I was able to capture just a little video of a precious moment between her and her sister. So um, God bless you guys. I hope you're doing well. Remember, there's always hope, even when life seems hopeless.